Right, so I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's taking me over 25 marathons, 650 milers, where I place in the top three for half of them, 300 100 kilometer races, three Ironman triathlons, including the World Championships in Kona. My furthest run being 147 kilometers. I've run the London Marathon and the Boston Marathon. My PB is 245, and I ran over 3,300. And 66 kilometers last year. And a few months ago, I finished one of my biggest challenges ever running 100 miles per week for 10 weeks in a row, equaling 1,000 miles. That roughly equated to 23 kilometers a day of running. Yeah, I'll be the first to admit it's taken me a while to fully appreciate the power of this simple approach to injury prevention. This realization might have prevented countless hours of frustration during injuries and annoyance of not being able to run. I could have saved money spent on physios and prevented multiple painful DNFs. But let's not jump ahead. Let's start at the beginning. I was born in the UK and the, yeah, I'm only joking. Over the years, I've been relatively lucky with injuries. I've had a few knee injuries and that's about it. Considering the volume of training and the brutal racing, that I put my body through in a relatively short period of time. Things have gone pretty well. This is especially surprising considering my gun hair attitude towards some of the fundamentals I'm going to talk about in this video. Most might have expected more results from my body. We've all had times when we're eager to hit the pavement, but our body just has other ideas. For many, especially newcomers and those ramping up to a race, which is closer than they would have liked, staying injury free can feel like a bit of a minefield. It's a delicate balance between pushing your body whilst respecting your limitations. Without proper care or tension, that niggling pain can explode and spiral into a frustrating cycle of injuries. Sideline your running dreams. But for me, more recently, those injuries have become more persistent, turning my running journey into a frustrating obstacle course. After pushing my limits, running 100 miles each week, for 10 weeks in a row, which I know looking back might have not been the smartest idea. Since then, I found myself in constant battles with my body and with injuries. It was like trying to sprint through quicksand. The faster you run, the slower you go. And I guess painful as well as it really made me appreciate how much I enjoyed running and was dependent on running for just my mental state and daily energy. It comes down to the old adage, you don't know what you've got until you've lost it. I'd leave the physio with the same words of wisdom, strength, and flexibility. And I follow the same recommended exercises until I started to see improvements. And once I recover, I quickly forget about them. I hadn't made it a habit. Instead of viewing strength and flexibility as preventative measures, I treated them as a short-term cure, just to get me back out onto the trails. It was a reactive approach rather than a proactive one. And that's the main lesson of this video. Did you miss it? The simple secret to injury prevention is prioritizing strength and flexibility first as a number one priority. Turn into a daily habit and focus, not just a side thought, which easily gets deprioritized and forgotten about. If you're thinking, duh, that's so obvious, I have two questions for you. Do you stretch and limber up every day? Do you go to the gym three or four times a week? If the answer to both those is yes, you're a better man or woman than me. And you could probably jump off the video right now. And for the rest of you, there's mere mortals out there like me who are just trying to figure the whole thing out, where you find that life inevitably gets in the way of proper recovery. I want to run through some of the few successes that I've had with turning recovery into a practice. So firstly and quite simply, I found that turning stretching into like a pre-bedtime ritual where I can spend 15, 20 minutes just chilling, listening to some nature sounds, literally, or watching a fun, enjoyable YouTube video has helped me associate stretching with calmness and chill and something I enjoy rather than just a chore. I've also discovered the magic of using a massage gun. I found that it's been incredibly effective at finding and easing super tight muscles. And every morning I wake up and one of the first things I do is use a massage gun to target and destroy those tight muscles. And I instantly feel that my muscles are more relaxed afterwards. When it comes to strength training, I've learned to strike a balance. Instead of pushing to exhaustion, I focus on controlled and quality reps. This way, my muscles are primed for running not drained and tired. It's like turning on an engine. You want it revved up, not burnt out. When my motivation dips, I've learned to treat strength training as my secret weapon. My secret weapon for maintaining injury-free, unlocking more thrilling and exciting 
running adventures. It's a bit like upgrading your running hardware. Each gym session is a step closer towards smoother, longer and more enjoyable runs. Trust me, your future self will thank you when you're conquering that seemingly impossible mountain trail. So it's remarkably easy to become consumed with the physical act of running, focusing solely on mileage, pace and PBs, while inadvertently neglecting the nuanced artistry that underlies the sport. This artistry encompasses not just the grinding of long runs, but also the recovery, the flexibility and strength that goes with it. By focusing too narrowly on the activity itself, we risk overlooking the enabling activities that we need to develop as a runner sustainably. Our bodies are ultimately quite fragile unless properly looked after. So don't forget about the strength and flexibility in your running journey. And with that, that's all I have to talk about in this video. Good luck with the injury prevention and hopefully the video helped. Cheers and see you soon. The secret simple to injury prevention. The simple secret to injury prevention is prioritizing flexibility and strength first. The simple secret to injury prevention is prioritizing. The secret simple to injury prevention. Oh, that's it.